Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install Windows XP as a virtual machine in Oracle VirtualBox. So let's say maybe you have some old software that only runs on Windows XP or doesn't run as well on the newer versions of Windows. Uh, you could use it for that, or maybe you just want to see what Windows XP looks like in case you never uh, used it before. You could use it for that as well. All right, so we have VirtualBox open here with the VirtualBox Manager with a few VMs. So the first thing we're going to do is click on New. So we're going to give this a name here. Let's just call this Windows XP. And then you want to pick the uh, storage location. So you could change this from whatever default is shown there. And you could actually go into the VirtualBox settings and change this default folder so it shows up as the one you want every time. All right, so we're going to pick our ISO image. So in the description, I will put a link to a website that has the Windows XP ISO file you could download. It's on the right side of the page. And then there's also a key for the installation that's in there as well. And I'll put the key in the description too, in case something happens to the website and they take it down. All right, so we're going to browse to the ISO image, which I already have here from before. So it detected Microsoft Windows and Windows XP. So we're going to skip the uh, an attended installation because that's kind of iffy on how well that works. So normally you'd put in a name and a password and the product key and all that stuff and it would do it for you as it's installing it, but we're just going to do the regular installation. Okay, so hardware. Windows XP does not require much RAM at all, but we're just going to give it a, say, 6 gigs since we got the RAM here to do so. And then one CPU. Uh, you don't need to enable EFI. Okay, for hard disk, it wants to do a 10 gig by default. You can make this whatever you want. I'm just going to make this 20 just for some extra room here. So I believe the overall requirements for uh, Windows XP was uh, 64 megabytes of RAM. So I'm giving it 6 gigs, so that's quite a difference. And 1.5 gigabytes of hard drive space, I'm giving it 20. And that's, so that should be fine as well. And then a 233 megahertz processor. Uh, so this is an i9 in this computer, so it's going to be more than fast enough. And then, of course, if you already have an existing hard drive, you could use that as well or add a drive later. So we're going to go with the default here and add the 20 gig drive in my VirtualBox folder. Click on Finish. Okay, so now we're going to click on Start to start the installation. Now that the ISO file is mounted, it should go right into it. Okay, set up Windows XP, press enter, so clean installation, so we're, that's our only option pretty much. We're not doing a repair. Uh, F8 to agree to the license agreement. All right, so here it found the 20 gig drive, so it's going to want to install it on the whole thing. So if you press C, then you could create a partition and just use part of the disk space, or if you just press enter, it'll use the whole thing. So we're gonna do the whole thing. Right now you have your formatting options, uh, FAT and NTFS. So you know you should probably use NTFS since that's the current file system in use. So we're going to do a quick. If you do the regular, it'll do more of a check to make sure the drive's okay. But since this is a new drive, I'm not worried about any errors. So I'm going to do the NTFS quick format. All right, so it's formatting. So during this installation, I'll probably you know pause it here and there so you don't have to sit here and watch you know the bars go by. Okay, so now it's looking at the disk, copying files. Okay, so now it's going to reboot. So you don't want to press any key to boot from CD, otherwise you'll start the installation over again. All right, an exciting new look for Windows XP. So it says it'll complete in 37 minutes, but it's going to be faster than that, most likely. Okay, so now we've got to set up the regional language options. So if you want to change any of these, you could click on the options to change them here, but we're going to go with the default here. All right, name and organization. You could just get by with typing in a name here. Let's just put Steve, for example. Okay, so now the license key, um, like I said, that's on the website or in the description, so I'll pause and type that in real quick. Okay, we'll click on Next. 
So computer name, it's going to use your username, but you could change that obviously. So let's call this Windows XP and administrator password. So make sure you don't forget this. Okay, so if the date and time looks correct, you could click on next. So now it's going to install the networking. Okay, so typical settings. So you probably want to use the typical settings unless you have your VirtualBox environment configured differently. So this way it'll just use your NAT settings uh, like your other VMs will use. And use DHCP. Okay, workgroup is the default. So you could change the workgroup name if you have a, another workgroup in use or if you want to make it something different. You're probably not going to be doing a domain with Windows XP. Okay, so we're rebooting again. You could always unmount the ISO file if you don't want to see that. Press any key to boot from CD message. Okay, it's going to try and improve the screen resolution just a little bit. So you could turn on automatic updates, but Windows XP is not getting any more updates, so I don't know what that's going to do. Turn down the volume here. Okay, for internet options, you're probably going to want to use the connect through local area network, so it uses the network card on your host computer. Okay, so we don't need to register with Microsoft. Now we can enter a username and we will go with Steve again. You could add up to five users here. All right, then we'll click on finish. Okay, so now we have our start menu. All programs. It's telling us we need antivirus, so we're going to ignore that. So if we use uh, Internet, Internet Explorer, so obviously you're going to want to install probably something like Chrome or Firefox since uh, Internet Explorer is not really supported anymore and you might have some issues going to different websites. And then this home page is not going to work either, most likely when you first start it up. It's just going to sit here and look blank. So if we go to like Google.com, let's say, that should take you there. Okay, so now we're going to install the uh, VirtualBox guest add-ons from the devices menu. Insert Guest Editions CD Image. And then we can go to File Explorer, right-click on Start, Explore. Go to the D drive here, in this case. So we're probably going to use the x86 one, most likely, for your situation. Since it's a 32-bit version of Windows, just do the default installation here. Okay, then we'll reboot again. Okay, so it's telling us the screen resolution could be better. And we'll try and fix it. It'll make it a little better. If we right click, properties, settings, then we could bump it up even more. You could try out some of these different levels here. So let's try this one here all the way. Or we could try one lower, let's say, like so. And there you go. So there's our Windows XP desktop. So now you could uh, install whatever software you want and play around with it and do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description for the ISO file download. And, and like I said, there's also the uh, key at the top of the page. Just make sure you click the link on the right side of the page for the ISO file. Don't click on anything in the comments. Then I'll also put the key in the description in case it's removed from the page. And then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.